Good afternoon. I'm speaking to you today as the voluntary sector representative on the public service and community-led support working group. This is a multi-agency group established at the request of the North Stone Project Board. It has extremely high level representation from statutory and non-statutory service providers and excellent officer support both from the county and district councils. But surprisingly, with no obvious relationship with or link to JTCC. We were tasked with identifying the scope of the infrastructure that will be required for North Stone Phase 2 to be an exemplar new community. In doing so, we concluded that the most appropriate, efficient and cost-effective way to deliver services was by means of a multifunctional civic hub. And I tend to restrict what I say to the implications of not providing sufficient funding for the delivery of this hub through the S106 agreement. Back in 2008-09, the civic hub costs were estimated at 55 million. However, we now live in very different times, and the consultants recently tasked by the project board with costing this latest much revised plan have estimated the cost to be a far more reasonable 27 million. What is very worrying is that this has been reduced by 27% in your papers to 20 million, and I have not been able to find any hard evidence to support this figure. I can only assume that this is an arbitrary sum chosen as a compromise between the evidence-based consultants figure and the spurious £12 million which was bandied around not, not that long ago and which had no evidential basis whatsoever. It is undoubtedly good practice to conduct value engineering to reduce costs, and work has been undertaken to reduce the £27 million by 10%. That does not result in £20 million. However, £27 million is a lot of money, so why is this an expensive building? Because, unlike other community buildings, it is not an add-on to already existing facilities. It has to meet all the needs and does not have the luxury of complementing other local facilities already up and running. It also has to mitigate the inevitable impact of North Stone on the adjoining parishes. So what happens if the civic hub is underfunded? Three things happen. There's insufficient space and resource to deliver the services of North Stone, and so it will rapidly replicate the problems of Newtown Syndrome that we've seen all too often in South Cambridge in recent years. The economic and social stability of the new town will be seriously compromised, and importantly, the business case for the civic hub will not demonstrate that the building is financially sustainable. So when those people, be they the town council or the community group who you wish to take on the responsibility for managing the civic hub, see that it is a financial liability, they will not touch it with a large pole. And this council will be left with a very expensive drain on its, on its resources in perpetuity. So in summary, the working party was made up of the most senior people from a very wide number of organisations. They worked extremely hard to identify what the infrastructure requirements would be for each service. 